Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. It's Trading Card Tuesday, so this time we are looking at some bingo movie trading cards. These are from Pacific. Each pack has 10 cards. I've got two packs here. These were produced in 1991. And these do not have chewing gum in them, which is around this time they started taking the gum out of the cards. So let's open these up and see what kind of quality we're dealing with for these collectible cards. Now these are fairly old, so let's see if they've held up well. Now if you're a big wax pack uh, fan, you'll want to be trying to be real careful because these were sealed very, very well. I just want to work that a little bit to get it open. Oops, tore it already. All right, let's see what we've got here. So first up, we have card number 108. Now the layout is pretty nice and sharp still, and the picture is pretty good. The back of the cards have text on them, and they're matte finish. Next up we have card number 35. Then we have card number 37. Number 19, Twenty two, twenty one, twenty six, fifteen. And lastly, 107. Okay, let's take a look at our other pack. All right, first up we have number one. Next up we have number three. Then number six. Followed by number seven. Number eight, number nine, number ten, Number 11, number 12, and finally, number 13. So these don't look particularly random. 
the first pack looked way more random. It had a little bit more of a spread, especially as you got into the 100s. But these, not so much. Uh, so the packs are probably not entirely random. They're probably just a sheet cut up and thrown into a package. But the cards are really nice quality, actually. They've held up very, very well. The coating feels cheap, but it's not sticking together. The back of the cards being matte really helps out on that front. But, yeah, these are actually really nice quality cards. If you like dogs or even the movie, these are probably going to be a good collectible. Uh, movie cards are still pretty popular with diehard collectors. So this would be a good one to add to your set. The colors are still very vibrant on here. They've held up really well. Nice sharp corners. Good quality card stock. Good thickness to it. Probably a little better than some of the baseball cards of the time. So I would definitely recommend these if you like the movie or you're just into movie collectibles and media, general pop culture stuff. This would be a cool collectible to add to your sets. So that's what you might get out of the bingo cards uh, from Pacific from 1991. Surprisingly held up better than a lot of the cards that came a few years later. So I would definitely recommend these if you're a dog lover. Or you like the movie Bingo for the nostalgia factor. So, uh, pretty easy to track down online, but they do cost a little bit more than some of the cards that came later. So, be prepared to pay a little bit more for them. You could probably find the set online too. But, yeah, pretty neat little set. So, we've seen what's in the package. I've given you my general opinion on them. I think they're actually really impressively good cards. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the About page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.